Lamar Jackson in a little bit of negotiation, a little bit of Kawhi Leonard. Wow, I have a bruised um, quad. I can't play in this game. He's going through an arc where he just needs to show up and he's like, pay to play. If you guys pay me and agree to pay me this contract and pay me the money I want, I am more than happy to give uh, to play in this game. And I feel like Lamar Jackson should be healthy by now when he went out um, with the injury. It was a week to week. Then there were some internal reports that John Harbaugh may want to move on from Lamar Jackson. So I don't think Lamar Jackson plays, um, which he should in a playoff game, because his difference is 10 points when he starts for the Ravens. So he instantly gives you 10 points in that game, which especially going up against Joe Burrow on that high powered offense. Like I get you believe in your defense, but in Cincinnati, you split this year. So it's not like the Bengals swept you. So you have an outside shot of luck to beat them. I feel like no Lamar Jackson, you get smoked by the Bengals, especially in the playoffs. Are the Ravens trying to follow the Steelers model where their offense is just atrocious, but their defense is loaded? They just signed Roquan Smith to a massive deal. He's the highest paid linebacker. Five years, and, 100 million. Yeah, five years, 100 million. It's like, do they not understand that the quarterback position is the most important position in all of football? Do they not understand that? Because yeah. Lamar Jackson has won an MVP. He has won a playoff game. I understand his playoff success is in question, but like, where's the, I just don't understand where they're like, what are they seeing in Lamar Jackson where they're like, we're not going to pay him because it's not like he's Mac Jones. It's not like he's, you know, insert other quarterback. That's not quite to that level. Lamar Jackson is arguably a top five quarterback in the league and you don't want to pay him. That is absurd. There's a lesser version of him. His name is Kyler Murray. He got paid. And Kyler Murray is not in the same class as Lamar Jackson. No. Lamar Jackson has won an MVP. He's arguably the greatest running quarterback of all time. Where's the problem here? And it's not like he can't throw the football either. That was a narrative early in his career. He's erased that. He can definitely throw the ball. So it's like, where where's the vision there? What are you going to do? You're going to draft a quarterback? Good luck with that. Yeah. And then for people who are like, oh, well, Lamar can't throw outside the numbers. I'm like, to who? Yeah. Literally, to who? Your wide receiving lineup right now is Devin Duhernay, Deshaun Jackson, and Sammy Watkins. Two guys who I thought were retired and out of the league. Deshaun Jackson, great if you have him in 2013. Sammy Watkins, great. Maybe never. I mean, maybe. Yeah, his, when he's in college, maybe. Yeah, maybe his first three years in the league when he had Deshaun Watson throwing him the ball in college. Like, yeah, sure, maybe. But like when your best wide receiver is Devin Duhernay and then Mark Andrews, unless you're Tom Brady, your best wide receiver can't be your tight end. You need legitimate talent around him. So it's like, don't give me well. It's like, of course, Josh Allen is better than Lamar Jackson. It's like, no, Josh Allen has Stephon Diggs. Gabriel Davis. Now he has Cole Beasley and he has Dawson Knox, who, by the way, has had a touchdown in the last four weeks. And he's, well, he's not Mark Andrews, still an excellent tight end. But the gap between the wide receiver town with what Josh Allen has, with what Justin Herbert has, where he with had, any of the quarterbacks, any yeah. of the elite quarterbacks, even, I mean, I guess at this point, you can probably maybe put uh, Patrick Mahomes there, but <coughs> he had Tyree Kill and Travis Kelsey his whole career. Yeah. Plus you have Herbert. He's got Keenan Allen and Mike Will. Plus you have, you know, um, Josh Allen you just mentioned. Yeah. That's the top three quarterbacks in the NFL. All those guys have much better receiver cores. Devin Duvernay is a third. Yeah. I guess you can – if you wanted to compare his receiver core to anybody, it'd be Trevor Lawrence. But honestly, I'd take Christian Kirk over Devin Duvernay. I'd take Mark I'd take, Jones. <laughs> yeah. I mean, outside of Mark Andrews, you don't really have any other weapons. Yeah. It's bad. Yeah, it's really bad. And I think Lamar should want to leave. And I feel like this whole, is he going to play? Isn't he going to play? It's like, no, this is the exact same thing that happened with Kawhi Leonard, where Kawhi Leonard just quite quit on the team. And I think Lamar Jackson should go to a team that actually wants him and wants to pay him. He's a top five quarterback in the league right now. And then he has more accomplishments than Justin Herbert, more accomplishments than Josh Allen. Um, at this point, Josh Allen doesn't have a Super Bowl appearance or an MVP. And you could argue Joe Burrow doesn't have an MVP yet, but it's like Lamar Jackson didn't suck the first two years of his career. Josh Mm. Allen was awful the first two years of his career. Trevor was awful his rookie year. And then you can point to other guys in the league that struggled out of the gate. Lamar Jackson was great out of the gate, and then you're not going to pay him? Like, this is ridiculous if you're the Ravens. And if you're a Ravens fan, it's like... I don't know. It's like you 
obviously can't win just with the loaded defense because last year you got torched by Joe Burrow for 425 and 500 yards. So it's like, obviously that's not working. And then you have Marcus Peters, Patrick Queen, Calais Campbell. You just signed Rokon Smith. You bring in um, Marlon Humphrey in the draft. So it's you draft Kyle Hamilton. It's like you couldn't have drafted one receiver or traded for one receiver with what you gave up for Roquan Smith. It's like, this is oh, ridiculous. Let's not forget that his number one receiver, he traded away to get Kyle Hamilton. Yeah. They traded away Hollywood Brown so that they can draft a safety. Like adding insult to injury to an already weak wide receiver core. Yeah. Who got exposed in Arizona? It's like people thought, um, it's like, all right, let's see what happens when Kyler Murray's best wide receiver is um, Hollywood Brown because he's been Lamar's best wide receiver the past few years. And guess what? Kyler Murray, threw him four, um, got him the record for receptions. He had like 14 catches in one game, and it was for like 100 yards. It's like Kyler Murray could not make him into a star. It wasn't the same as having someone like DeAndre Hopkins there. And it's like Kyler Murray struggled. Lamar Jackson had to make do with Hollywood Brown, and he did it. So it's like, no. Lamar's someone who elevates talent. Has someone like Mark Andrews there, but that's about it. And then the run game fell off too, because what made them so dynamic was they ran the most of any team in the NFL with their running backs who were pretty good. Um, but now your best running back has been Kenny 